The first thing we want to do is make sure we download the Envision Sync application. Now, fortunately, Envision's made this process extremely quick and easy, so we should be able to knock this out in no time. So first, let's go ahead and go over to the Envision website and get logged in. Once we're logged in, go ahead and click on the grid icon up at the top right-hand corner of the screen. You'll find it right to the left of your login name. Now, once you click on it, go ahead and select Desktop Sync. As you can see, Envision's created a variety of ways to keep your prototypes synchronized with your designs. But let's just go ahead and focus on Envision Sync itself. So click on the uh, download button to download the application. It shouldn't take very long because it's a pretty small application. Then once it's wrapped up, let's go ahead and click on the item. And now that we have it unzipped, Let's go ahead and click on the application to, to launch the installation process. Here it's telling us it's an application download from the internet and just taking a bit of a security measure to ensure that it's an application you do want to install. So we're going to click open. The next dialog box should ask you if you want to move the application over into the applications folder. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. The last thing is the Envision Sync login. So just go ahead and enter the same email address and password that you use to access Envision on the web. Notice the Envision Sync icon up in the menu bar. What it's doing is it's currently updating all of the prototypes that you have in your Envision account. And then we get the notification that the synchronization has completed. So now we should be able to view all of the prototypes that we have set up on our Envision account. So now that we've installed the Envision Sync application, we'll be one step closer to keeping all of our application designs in sync with our prototypes.